Hi everyone, today I'll be sharing some lessons I learned while being gone part-time and homeschooling. Alright, so to give you a bit of a background, um, when we started homeschooling in January 2016, I was more than halfway uh, with my education degree. And I knew that eventually my teacher practice was gonna be coming up, but it seemed a long way away. So we just plowed through with the homeschooling and did our thing. So from August to December, we started like our first full year of homeschooling and we had our schedule and and everything was going great. But by the end of 2016, I knew that there were gonna have to be some adjustments made because in January 2017, I was starting my teacher practice. Uh, just in case you're wondering, this was just kind of a personal goal to finish up a degree in teaching English as a second language for high school, actually, was what I chose because I love literature, but that's something for another day. Um, and so, but I knew coming January that that was gonna be a thing. I had to see what was I gonna do. Uh, my girls loved homeschooling, we loved it. We wanted to continue doing it, didn't want to send them back to school so that I could uh, do, finish my degree, finish my teaching practice. And um, so we had to come up with a plan. And I'd like to share with you today uh, some of the things I learned because we survived. We were able to uh, have mom gone uh, part-time every day from Monday to Friday and still homeschool my two elder girls and have my little toddler around also doing her little things. So I wanted to share the first thing I have to say is that I couldn't have done it without a support system, without the support of my husband and my mother-in-law specifically and my father-in-law who shared my mother-in-law in -law with us, um, I couldn't have done it. So uh, without them, without a support system, that is key to be able to be gone part-time and still homeschool. So uh, we had to get really organized with all our schedules and work around it. Sometimes my husband, because of his work, could be around some mornings, but mainly it was my uh, mother-in-law who helped us out. And to kind of give you an idea of how we did the scheduling thing, that was a really big part to organize our schedule. Uh, usually we like uh, to have a flexible, well we keep a pretty good schedule but our days are pretty flexible depending on what comes up. We couldn't do that because I was gone every morning. I had to leave and then be back uh, by noon. Usually I was gone half the day and so we really had to plan out our days and see uh, what was coming up way ahead and get really organized. And so what we did is that either my husband or my mother-in-law would stay with them in the morning and then I would be them well, the rest of the time when I got home. And um, so a very, uh, I'd like to share some lessons about what, what really helped us. And like I mentioned already, getting organized was a really big part of it. Um, I always like to plan and have uh, my lessons uh, have no what's coming up, but I really, really had to very, be very consistent on planning and um, knowing everything that was, was coming up. And another thing that uh, really, really helped us is that my, her, my girls, uh, we had to adjust for them being a little bit more independent. Uh, since we started homeschooling, I'm always in the room with them, even if they're working um, by themselves or doing a little, something a little bit more independent. But uh, this time they had to get used to having their assignments and then me getting in at the at noon and seeing what they did. So we had to get in like this rhythm of uh, I write, me writing down everything that, that they needed to get done and getting really, really good uh, workbooks that they could work independently on. And then I would mark out what work was for them to do by themselves and then what was to be done when I got home. And so when my mother-in-law and my husband were with them in the morning, they didn't really have to uh, see what they had to do. The girls already had written down everything that they needed to do and they got into like a group of, of doing their things. So that's how it worked. They knew that when they woke up, they had to get ready in the morning and have their breakfast and then they went right in. I was already gone and they went right into uh, doing their independent work. And then when I got back in at noon, I would 
check and see and that was a really big thing uh, when we were I mean being consistent in checking their work because I was not in the room with them checking as they went along so I had to be really consistent every day at checking what they got done what what they didn't help with or how they were doing and it, it really helped it was like a good transition they're already um, 11 and seven so it's a good age for them to learn to be more independent obviously i love learning with them and i think that's part of the experience of homeschooling learning together but it's also good that they learn how to be independent and and have their own things to work on and so i would check it and that was really key in being able to be gone part-time that they learned to be more independent and it worked and in the future now we have this now that i'm done thankfully uh, and we'll be back to our schedule before and be with them uh, the whole day um, that I'll still be in the room with them but there's more uh, this dynamic of them being more able to to work independently and so uh, that also like I mentioned has to do with the materials the materials I got had to be uh, very very good for them to make it easier for me and also uh, for them to be work uh, working independently so I'm very grateful that we got some good materials that I will be sharing um, uh, that help them be more conducive to working independently and also simplifying that brings me to the other lesson I learned I had to simplify and sometimes we want to do everything we want to get a lot of things in and I realized uh, starting January that we were gonna have to let some things on hold uh, so that I could be able to to manage um, I had less hours in the day with them and also I had all my schoolwork and a heavier load of things I had as a teacher uh, um, practicing teacher I had to lots of workloads and, and and other things so I had to be realistic and simplify and so that's what we did we decided that we were gonna go lighter on uh, history which is my favorite and science we had to go a lot lot lighter with those and then we'll go back to them uh, next term because I simply there was not enough hours in the day to get everything in once I got home and going back to our schedule when I got home we did do our read alouds and we did do uh, some things that they needed help with uh, like my seven-year-old uh, does math with me and and she needs uh, more help in Spanish with me uh, when it comes to grammar and some things it's harder for them and also that has to do with the materials. Our Spanish materials aren't that uh, made for independent work. So so the, some of those things I still had some hours after I got home. And then um, after lunch, we got into what they needed um, me to help them with. But then by the time we were done, it wasn't a big getting into late afternoon. And so I realized I, we can't do the whole science and history thing, though I would love to for now. And that was a good choice. It was realistic and it worked. I still um, got some uh, learning in with some different things we did, but we weren't doing our full science or history curriculum because it was just not realistic to do so. And that was part of the simplifying. And, and so uh, that helped us simplifying the, the routine. And so that was very, very valuable simplifying um, getting organized and being consistent and helping them to be more independent obviously couldn't have done it without my my husband and my mother-in-law and and all the family support and the girls were really great about it we got into a routine and they thrive on that they knew I was gonna be I got in the morning they kind of actually liked it sometimes because they got through their independent work really quick and then they got to uh, play or, or spend time with their dad or their grandma so it worked out and just wanted to briefly share these lessons and and let you know that that's the great part of homeschooling that you can just adjust adjust to what phase you're in and and I was able to grow personally and we grew as a family because it was not easy at times to manage everything. But I think we made the right choice to just uh, adjust and keep homeschooling and it brought us together and also my girls saw that uh, you can have a family, you can um, do all the things you want to do and still achieve your personal goals. So I just wanted to share with you and 
I hope to uh, keep sharing all these videos of what we do. Just wanted to comment on how you may think that in the summer it would be easier for us to, um, for me at least, to find the time to make videos. But it's the opposite actually. Our summers are so full of wonderful things but very, very busy and, and uh, we're out of the routine so it might be tough but I really want to keep sharing everything that we do. Right now we are traveling. We are away from home uh, to be with family and we're very grateful. So. I uh, hope to keep sharing and we'll see you soon.